Paul Coyle bought the Abigail Adams Center for Alzheimer's Care in Weymouth last August after experiencing the difficulties of finding daytime care for several of his own family members with the illness that causes memory loss. Here Paul talks about what he is trying to do in his new career and how he has been moved by the people he meets, both the clients with the illness and their caregivers. Images from the Patriot Ledger and Enterprise News staffs and archives illustrate aspects of living with Alzheimer's disease. My family happened to be going through some changes and we had a few members that were suffering from Alzheimer's and were dealing with you know, the infirmities of old age and everything else. We saw the changes that that drives within the family and the burden that it puts on the primary caretaker. One of the things that I'm very careful about is, is, you know, giving somebody the hard sell. It's very hard for these people to make decisions. I see the need, I, yeah. I see that they desperately need help, that they want to do it, but there's something about making that decision that maybe they feel that they're abandoning their loved one or they're going to wait another six months and see how it goes. And it's just it's difficult getting people to realize that the earlier they can get their loved one into this kind of a program, the better it is for the caretaker because they really need the break. We really try to get people to work at the highest level that they're able to. The artwork, the making different things, uh, just telling stories and having a gift of getting somebody engaged in, in getting them. Some of these people, every once in a while, that, that closed door opens up a little bit and they remember things about their past. And sometimes it's just a fleeting glimpse. But other times they're with you for a while and it's, it's, um, it's, it's a very rewarding thing to, to see. And some of these people have, have wonderful stories and, and they've led, led very interesting lives. You know, these are the people that, you know, you know, it's like America's greatest generation. You know, these are the folks that fought World War II and, mm -hmm. you know, um, saw, you know, when you think about all the changes that they've seen in their lifetime, it's amazing. I go home every day and I tell my wife, live Live each day because you don't know what your future is going to have. I see some of the people, I'll tell you, I'm humbled by what I see some of these caretakers doing. You know, we have couples who um, probably never thought that they'd be going through this, that they planned for their retirement, that they had a, a, a summer house in Florida and they were going to travel the world and the wife comes down with Alzheimer's and now the husband is the primary caretaker and they do it with grace and with love and but I'm sure it's never what they had ever imagined and it just shows me that you know enjoy as long as you have your health don't don't put things off and think that I'll do that when I retire or I'll do that when after we pay the mortgage off and when everything's fine because you know what you may not have you know you may end up with one of these diseases and your spouse may be the one who comes down with it it really just shows you but some of these people they're happy they're they um, they make the most of it their spouses are I've never seen anybody bitter they they love the people they're gentle with them they send, they sacrifice to send them here, I'm sure, and they're happy to, and they really want to make sure that they're enjoying their day and that they're having a good time.